Joining us today for Primetime Local News is Tyler McMurchie with SGI. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, Tyler. Well, thanks for having me. Of course, no problem, because SGI is sending out a reminder right now for homeowners on ice dam prevention. Now, starting off, you know, probably with the easiest question here, can you kind of explain exactly what an ice dam is for people that are just kind of curious and don't really know what that is? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So when snow collects on the roof of a house, uh, it can melt because of the, um, the heat coming from inside the attic and, or the warm outdoor temperatures. And so when that melted water reaches the edge of the roof where there is no heat, sometimes it refreezes and it forms into a large ice block. And that's what we call an ice dam. So that dam prevents the melted snow from draining off the roof. Uh, and so when the, when the temperatures refreeze, it can, the, the moisture can work its way into your home uh, um, under your shingles and cause a lot of damage that way. So from SGI's perspective, have you seen a lot more incidents with ice dam um, incidents for homeowners like while this weather kind of continues to fluctuate? We've we've already seen a few ice dam uh, claims from this year, and we saw um, uh, about 130 of them uh, last year. Uh, so it's not uh, thousands, but it is a, a significant enough number that we want people to avoid it. It's something, something that we want people to uh, be aware of so they can prevent it. And prevention is uh, obviously the, the best uh, scenario rather than having to put yourself in a situation where you're submitting an insurance claim. And is this why SGI is wanting to send out this reminder right now, just with the temperatures outside, how it keeps fluctuating and we're seeing a lot more warm conditions right now for the winter season? Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly why uh, we are seeing those fluctuating temperatures, uh, and we we want people to uh, maybe get outside, take a look at their roof, and see if they've got some excess uh, snow on there or some signs of ice dams, uh, like icicles along their their gutters, for example. Uh, but uh, one of the things that we we would like them to do, if possible, is to get some of that excess snow off their roof. And one of the ways you can do that is by using a roof rake. All right, perfect. And yeah, let's get a little bit more into that. If you could kind of explain how residents can really prevent this issue and some tips that SGI is wanting to share. Yeah, essentially it's a, getting a, a roof rake, uh, which is uh, something you can find in a lot of hardware stores or, or big box retailers. And uh, it's, a, it's a tool that will allow you to stay safe on the ground and get some, get some of that uh, um, v, uh, snow off your roof. It, it extends, it's uh, generally pretty lightweight. And uh, what, what we advise is just uh, using that roof rake to, to remove some of the excess snow from the, uh, from the roof that you have. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have to do the entire roof, just you know, maybe the first uh, four feet or so um, from the uh, edge of the roof. And that will um, go a long way to preventing uh, you from having to uh, deal with an ice dam in the future. And are there some other ways that uh, homeowners can help prevent water damage, I guess, when it comes to these ice uh, dam incidents? Yeah, uh, making sure you have good ventilation and proper insulation in your attic is one way to, to help uh, prevent that heat from escaping your home and, and, and melting the snow that's on top of your roof. In the fall as well, one of the things you can do to prevent this is to ensure that your eaves troughs, your gutters uh, are free of debris so that water, when it does melt and does reach them, uh, has a clear path off of your roof and, and away from your home. All right, perfect. Well, it's really nice to be able to speak on this, especially with how these temperatures are going right now. And for anybody that may be struggling with this issue now, when people find themselves in that situation, when this has already happened, what would you say that they should be doing next for the next step? Well, if they think they have enough damage to warrant an insurance claim, they should contact their insurance broker. Not all uh, home policies cover ice dams. So it's good to know what you're covered for before you're in that situation. Uh, but uh, call your insurance broker and if you do have a claim, uh, they will be uh, happy to assist you in uh, contacting your insurance company, whether it's SGI Canada or another one, and uh, making your, uh, making your um, situation whole again, I, I guess I would say, and, and fixing the uh, damage that your uh, um, home has experienced. Oh, perfect, Tyler. Well, I'm really glad we're able to speak and help get the word out on this and uh, some nice prevention tips for homeowners out there, especially with this weather. So once again, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Shelby.